Hi, it's Roberto Mickey with your COVID-19 update for Miami-Dade County and Broward County on 8-31-2020. New deaths in the state of Florida were 68, with a total of 11,187 deaths since the start of the pandemic. Florida's overall numbers are improving, with only 1,916 new cases in the state and only 349 in Miami-Dade County and only 182 in Broward County. All great numbers showing a dramatic improvement in the number of cases here in the state of Florida and in our counties. This improvement is also reflected in the percentage of positive tests. Miami-Dade County is sitting at 6.54% with a 14-day average of 8.39%. Broward County is sitting at 4.2%. This improvement is important because it will help determine whether schools and other sectors of our economy can reopen. The number of patients hospitalized in Miami-Dade County is sitting at 800, which is a dramatic improvement compared to the 2,300 that we had admitted in mid-July. Similarly, Broward County has only 427 patients admitted. Admissions in Miami-Dade County were 61, and discharges were slightly lower than admissions, but just slightly at 47. There are currently 566 ventilators available in Miami-Dade County. August 28th, Miami-Dade County announced that on 8-31-2020 today, both casinos and restaurants could reopen, with restaurants having a restriction at 50% of indoor seating. In about two or three weeks, we should have an answer about the effects of this reopening. And hopefully there will be none. But if there is one, the government has to have the courage to reinstitute the restrictions that were previously implemented. If everyone continues to do their part, hopefully the numbers will continue to improve and maybe we can get below the 5% threshold recommended by many government agencies for opening schools safely. If the percentage of positive tests drops below 5%, most likely they will reopen schools. Reopening schools is a controversial topic, and there will be some benefits and some downsides to reopening them. You only have to look at our universities to notice that having schools open will increase the number of transmitted cases. I think the keys to safe reopening are number one, controlling the pandemic in the community. Number two, giving parents and teachers choice. Number three, proper PPE for all staff members and teachers. And number four, mitigation within the school. I think step one is well on its way and we will likely reach that 5% threshold very soon. I think part two, giving choice to teachers and to students whether they should return is important because not every student is a low risk student. And for example, a student with cystic fibrosis probably should not be in school. The third step, providing proper PPE to all of our teachers and staff members within the schools is important because the students will likely not have a problem if they develop or contract COVID-19. However, teachers are in a different boat and may suffer from severe consequences to getting the disease. Step four is mitigation, and many schools have already started the planning process of how to mitigate and how to clean and how to purify the air in order to prevent transmission of the disease. This is a CDC website giving information on how to reopen schools safely. This is the MiamiDade.gov website giving information on the data from Miami-Dade County. And this is the Broward County website giving similar data. And this is the Washington Post website with some of the graphs that we used. Everyone out there, stay safe, wear a mask. And if you like this video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and help out the channel. Thanks a lot.